jump in for a second? And, and this is 30 years of experience talking to you, and, and I hope it makes common sense, because I think headshots are really common sense when you sit back and think it all out. Everybody's trying to tell you how to be interesting and what you should do in front of the camera. I break it down this way, simple as this. We live on a planet called Earth. It's a rock floating through space, billions of stars, billions of galaxies. Pretty incredible when we all sit back and think this out. And we all template it to be who hell made this place wow. And we just refer to maybe as God. Not getting religious, just say God. Well, when you break it all down, no two snowflakes have ever been the same, ladies and gentlemen. No two blades of grass, grains of sand, or salt have ever been the same. Have you not all stopped to think as artists what that makes you in the world order? And you, and you, and you, and you. You are miracles, people. I do not want my opinion on you when I shoot your headshot. That is not what this is about. What I want to introduce to these casting people is the truth of you. There's only one of you. If we look in your eyes and we take the time to look in your eyes, we get you. 95% of the people that I shoot, probably most of these people shoot, are nervous when you get to the session. Yeah. Um, when I, I've been acting for eight, I've been a SAG member for eight years, and I've got my headshots done probably five or six times. And I remember one of the first times I did it, I paid over $600, um, didn't meet with the photographer, and then you show up and everything is very rushed, and I didn't feel like I got one-on-one -on -one time, and it was kind of, you know, it was over before I even really knew what was going on. And I feel like to really capture you, you have to be comfortable. And so I feel like if you're not connecting with the photographer or if you don't like them, I've heard so many stories of someone that's like, yeah, my photographer was, he was kind of a jerk or she was a jerk or rude or whatever. And I feel like they're, you're not going to be comfortable, so we're really not going to capture you because you're never letting your guard down. And I feel like you have to spend time with people and get their guard down and let them know everything's okay. And all you really have to do is show up and we're going to play and get you. I completely agree with that. And I don't. There are a million different answers to these questions. Yeah, that's true. And at the end of the day, you have to listen to yourself and you have to do whatever you feel, you know, what feels right for you. If you're, however much you can spend, however much your relationship with the photographer, not to meet with them, to get your hair and makeup done there, to not get your hair, you have to listen to yourself. I, I feel as actors, you guys are so, you have it so hard because you're being told by so many people where you should spend copious amounts of money in all different directions. And you just need to, this is your business and you need to stop and take a minute and do the research the way Marcy said and, and do what feels right for you at the end of the day. That's what, you know, you take care of yourself. Moving on, we have actually a question from online. How exciting is this? This is from Tara in Berkeley, California. Um, she wants to, she, she specifically asked Geraldine, but I'll ask everybody. Uh, if you look for something different in headshots when casting younger actors, say ages 15 to 18, which I'm assuming Tara is. Um, hi, Tara. Um, <laughs> Uh, I do. I mean, I'm again. It's that same. It's that truth and that honesty. I think um, so many kids get caught up in in the Disney world and like I want to be Miley Cyrus, and so they're like super energy, you know. But if that's not <laughs> if that's not who you are when you come in the room, then you're being false. Um, and I I think the same thing is true as for an adult as it is for a kid. You want I want to get who that kid is if they're. If they're mischievous, you know, that little, I want to see that little glint in their eye. If they're, you know, if, they, if they're like a super awesome type A cheerleader, you know, like capable and all of that sort of stuff, I want to see that in them. It doesn't have to be in a cheerleader costume. <laughs>